Welcome to another vlog and for today's vlog I'll show you how to key map sausage man using FlyDG Q1. So turn na simulan natin to. Ready? So today we will do remap here in Sausage Man. So open the Q1 up. Oh, well, yes, do the default config. Click edit. Then let's do drag and drop. The basic drag and drop. Then let's just delete this first. Then this mouse icon. And this is uh, for the movement of the mouse. So let's put it here. Then uh, let's drag blank button and press left trigger let's put it in the fire button so let's add again a button let's click um, C for crouch <coughs> and add another button let's click C again for this one for prone <coughs> so double click uh, just click continues for prone confirm so let me show you what, what will it that what will it do save so as you can see if I press crouch and press it again okay. but if I press and hold the C key it will prone see it will prone like that so we'll add again edit um, spacebar for jump let's save this first and let's add again um, shift a tab let's press here in the marking the mark button so press it again the uh, previous key here and the let's add again the next key is here by the way I have already adjusted the settings of the controls that's why you see the leaning settings here so okay so let's save it first then let's look for oh wait 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 so you see the the mouse is too sensitive so we have to um, decrease that edit just double click this mouse and let's lessen it. Okay. Let's make it 35. 35. This is how you control the sensitivity of your mouse. Confirm, save. Yeah. Much better. So we have to get the guns. Uh, oh, by the way, let me show you how to. Let me show you how to <coughs> um, make the cursor appear. So open the Q1 up, edit, get uh, make a blank button again, and then click the middle mouse click. Then open that, click, click fly mouse, and then make the sensitivity to 35, or it depends of your depends on your preference. So confirm. By the way, wait. By the way, this press and hold to turn on is still not working. So we have to click the click to open. And we have to take the click to open, then confirm. So when you click the when you press the middle mouse click, cursor will appear. So you can adjust where you want to cursor to appear. 
let's adjust it first edit let's make it here in the middle oh i let it here so if you put it there the cursor will appear where you put the the fly mouse button okay save and let's let, let, let me click yep see if you want to remove the, the icons just click the f1 key so and if you want to appear make the icon appear uh, just click the f1 again okay wait just put this button at the right side right side of the screen always at the right side of the screen and this one the WASD button should be on the left side of the screen so let's put it this here so save so so we don't have any buttons for skills so we'll make one so open edit um, you can, you can make any keys for that so for me I'll choose um, E let's choose E and put it here by the way guys um, don't overlap buttons so it will work properly overlap is like this you put the buttons on top of the buttons so that's overlapping so we should avoid that so yeah so let's click save no no let's add the button again for run up uh, is my run and you could you should put it here this is uh, the default position for run so there's no automatic run here in the q1 app so what else um for sniper sniping or scope is the right click right mouse click so let's save it first so when you use these scales i press letter e whoa whoa see um let's make a uh, buttons here keys let's make a keys here so for me I always use letter T for getting in the car but I'll use macro on this one so I double click T macro edit add two buttons so put the T1 the first button on here so and t2 on here the passenger side so since I told you earlier that you should do not overlap uh, buttons and keys so we have to change the position of the of our uh, uh, what you call it the, the class save save so we have to we have to move the position of this of this one so go to settings set of controls custom panel it's this one so we have to move it right here so to avoid the overlapping so save leave so as you can see may enable all the, bu the buttons We should place it here. Adjust the positioning. So double so click it this again. Edit. So one two. So the purpose of this is if you press the T key, it it presses first the the T one and then the T two. So it will be. Um, in increment so if ever there's no the uh, if ever there's a driver 
in the car, so you will automatically become passenger. So vice versa. So let's try to save it. Save. So let's try to enter the vehicle. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Since we set up the WASD and the controls for mouse, you can control it. So at exit for the buttons for exit. The buttons for exit. Just let's make another black button. Uh, let's make it T again. But this time, we should choose FPS. Drive on and off. Confirm. And drag it the exit button. And save. So the reason we use. Uh, different uh, program for the exit if I exit then I move the cursor it will not move if we choose this okay. if we only choose this the normal click if you use that for the when we exit the vehicle the cursor will not move so we have to use the FPS drive on and off have to use the FPS driving on off on and off so that after we exit the vehicle we can um, we can quickly move our cursor so that's the reason why we use that the drive on and off for the vehicles so what else so the reload The reload it did R that's the save so save and the uh, weapon one weapon two change so my web my weapon one will be um uh, wheel up I'm used of using wheel up as my weapon one and then let's add again let's add button again this time weapon two wheel down so, so let's save it first so my wheel up wheel down wheel up wheel down you get the idea <coughs> So for the skills, let's call the skills because it has skills and some troubles. So skills and troubles are combined in this part. So let's make uh, let's make keys for that. So ladder. Uh, so five. Drag it in this arrow up. Just you can use uh, just a normal button. Just a normal settings. Confirm. Click the num the click the number five. Then open the cursor and you can choose any of and you can choose any of one of these. So it, in order to use that. Remember that the letter E that we uh, that we made earlier use that Just hold and then release it On the consumables so on the consumables Here I put it in here so Let's make uh, so let's make so let's make keys for that and buttons so open blank number four put this on top of this arrow up so it will be on click and normal so let's add another button number four again and make this continuous confirm 
put this on top of this mushroom then you save so if I click for all the consumables will, will show and then use the quarter to choose and then after you choose press and hold for two seconds the number four see so if you press four and four this two will interchange just like in PUBG so in bags I just use letter Q so uh, it's a continuous click and normal okay so let's save this let's press the Q so it will show so let's put cursor and the exit for this so open the Q1 up again edit another button um, Q and make this fly mouse so change this to 35 or 35 it depends on your preference confirm um, let's put this in the middle so that the arrow will be here will appear here in the middle where you put the fly mouse settings so let's make another button again um, this time it's here again it's it's a uh, click normal okay so put it on here so save so when you press so let's exit first so when you press the Q for bug there you go so if you press again the Q it will exit Oh my god. It will exit. Marking target location. When in bags, we have to um, move the position of the map settings. Folds. So click the information. So we have to move the position of the map here. Just move it a little here. There we go. So we're not having any problems anymore. So there you go. You have to move this map a little bit on the left side the map the map so on the setting up the map will be uh, uh, Z just continues click normal so let's save this first click on the map open again edit make a bot make new buttons and click Z again should be confirm I mean click normal and then confirm so click this on top of the map exit save so marking target location marking target location marking target location marking target location to remove marking target location voice we need to place the first Z that we made earlier at the edge of the map, here. When diving, so let's make a button for this one. Um, let's make it C. Let's make this C. So this one, let's put it in on here. And save so click C it will dive and just click C again to swim up by the way for the look around this is my look around wait 
For the look around, this is my look around, so we'll make a keys for that. My look around is this one. Shift. Let's put this onto this look around button. Click. And this should be fly FPS mouse linkage. Sensitivity is 20, so I'm okay with that. Confirm. Save. So when you click the shift key and you move the mouse, that will happen. So by the way, this also needs um, a no record settings. So we'll make a no record settings for this one. So it's the same as the PUBG and COD mobile. Open this, edit, um, new, and let's make this. Uh, left click because left click is our far button so double click it so it will be fps and auxiliary shoot number nine so confirm save wait there's an enemy There's too much so there's too much too much no recoil see, see this it goes down so we have to uh, uh, lessen it so so this one should be placed on the right side of the scene uh, this this one should be placed on the right side of the screen so five. So this is this settings is only for um, M16. See? As you can see, there is no recoil. There you go. So there's no recoil. So just remember, every guns have different recoil sensitivity. So I have a technique for that that you can only use one button for all of the guns, but. I will not include this in this tutorial because you can watch that on my PUBG Flight DG Q1 tutorial. So it has it, it's also the same. So you have to watch that in order for you to, um, in order for you to use only one button for all of the guns. By the way, guys, um, this sa sausage man uh, detected that I'm using an emulator, so it will not get banned, but you will be teamed up with against the player with using also an emulator, so that will be okay. So just confirm it. Ready?